You know what? Let's watch a Mr. Beast video. I just bought this entire grocery store, which includes. <laughs> Fuck. Includes enough food to literally feed an entire city. And then I decided to trap this random guy inside. And every day you live here, I will give you ten thousand dollars in a grocery cart. That's wild, dude. Let's yes. go. Well, I'll give it to you in twenty-four hours. Oh, okay. This challenge could literally make Alex a multi-millionaire, which in theory means he could be in here for years. And it starts right now. All right, I remember seeing uh, what's that guy's name? Game Game Theory. A food theory video about how long you could live in a grocery store. The answer was like 600 something days, I think. No, it was like 60 something years, right? It's a long time. You can live in a grocery store a long ass time. Jimmy's gone. Why would I ever leave? I could be here for years. Time to go grocery shopping, baby. Now, if Alex crosses this red line that we painted around the entire perimeter of the grocery store, the challenge is over and he walks away with his current winnings. And to make sure he stays inside, it's worth noting here that we have countless cameras covering every square inch. <laughs> His videos are getting crazy. I mean, he bought a grocery store. This is a safe way. And then he gave somebody 10,000 on top every day. That is crazy. What if he gets horny? They do never show people jerking off in Mr. B's videos. And you have to wonder, does it happen on these 40 day challenges? I get why they don't show it. But like this person being filmed, like, they get naked. They're, like, living their life and shit. I guess I assume they have some privacy in the bathroom. Hopefully. Into the grocery store. For my first meal on night one, I guess I'll cook the steak. I think this is just going to be home base, this little corner of the grocery store. If I have meals like this every night, I'll easily be here for years. Day one complete. See you in the morning. So there's, like... There's, like, a... There's like a cost to this as a human in the amount of life that you give up being in this grocery store. And if you were in this grocery store, you know, even though $10,000 a day is an amazing salary, for 20 years, it's not worth it, right? Like, I think everybody would agree they would not give up 20 years of their life. I would think that most people would agree they would not give up 20 years of their life for $60 million, And then every human, I mean, maybe with the exception of really ass rich people, would spend one day in a grocery store for $10,000. Where is the middle ground on like, okay, I've given up too much of my life. I need to start doing shit. A year? A year is so long to be disconnected. Because this is basically solitary, right? I guess I, I should watch the video and see how much interaction this person gets. If they have a phone or whatever. But I think a year... If it is solitary confinement... Th will fuck with your mind for the rest of your life. You will not leave the same human. It's officially been 24 hours and I got the first 10 grand. Alex! Hey! Can you feel this and confirm it's $10,000? Um... It is. It I is. believe you. Now we introduce the twist of the challenge. Basically, to receive the daily $10,000, you need to give me $10,000 in product from the store. And so you have to strategize what order to get rid of these items to stay here as long as possible. Oh. Oh, this changed instantly. Okay, this is no longer the video I thought it was. Can they stop trying to make Starry happen? I don't know if anyone else is on this fucking... Stop trying to make Starry a thing. I'm not doing it. They keep marketing it. Like, fuck off, dude. Sprite won, you lost. It's okay. I know it replaced Sierra Mist. But at least Sierra Mist knew that it was second to Sprite. But Starry's trying to make itself like a story. 
we're better than Sprite, but it's it, they're trying too hard. Oh, wow. Okay. Conveniently, there's a lot of electronics over there that are pretty expensive for day one. That's probably a good idea. I can't really eat a TV, so it's no use to me. You're 22 cents over. All right, let me check out. Do you have an MVP card? No. Would you like one? No. Do you want to sign up no. for <laughs> Here's your cash. Chris, take it away. Beep, beep. All right, so now the video reveals itself. It's a little more difficult. It is not, because this person could live here for years. You have to give up $10,000 of value to stay in the shop to receive $10,000 of cash. I will see you tomorrow with another $10,000 in cash. You should start strategizing what you're going to sell me. This changes everything. I got to start strategizing for the future. I have to figure out all the stuff that I need to get rid of. Pet food, pet items. Jimmy could not pay me to eat this stuff. I swear. I got $10,000 worth of dog food right here. I think I'm just going to get some rest, wake up early, because I'm going to have to prep more items tomorrow. <sighs> I got a lot of work ahead of me. Damn, you can't turn off the lights? Uh, that's kind of brutal. Alex. What's up, Jimmy? Oh, hey. Ah, uh, man, I would not be happy with the fucking... He better be taking vitamin D. All right? Doctor prescribed. You're at a grocery store. I know it's there. Get vitamin D. Then get vitamin K2. Because, I don't know, you're supposed to have it, I think. To absorb it better. Don't ask me. Is that what you're selling to me today? Today, it's dog food. Oh, my gosh. This is going to take us forever to move. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Get your Mina cookies. Can we do like a K2? I think it's K2, right? You're supposed to take vitamin D along with vitamin K2 because too much vitamin D does some shit to your body or something and then K2 counteracts it. Don't fucking ask me, all right? Google it yourself. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just know you're supposed to take K2 with vitamin D. I let him clap transition. Go for it. There we go. It's all over here at the register. Isn't that a cool effect? I love beast magic. We're at $9,991.80. Smoking that K2. And for the final item, we are it's now at $10,045. Yeah. <laughs> and something you should know. Every single item Alex sells to me, we are literally going to donate to charity. So don't worry, none of this is going to go to waste. The next few days were kind of a breeze for Alex. On day five, he sold me $10,000 worth of produce. All yeah, you should sell the produce. I think that's smart. Not only because... Well, yeah, it's just going to go bad otherwise. Selling the produce is smart. This produce here, they're going to go bad very fast. On day six, he sold me a bunch of diapers. And on day seven, eight, and nine, he cleared out an additional $30,000 worth of products. He even discovered the back room of the store. And since he hasn't showered in 10 days, he built his very own makeshift shower. Um, That's kind of sick. Dude, this is actually kind of hype. Because Mr. Beast basically formulated a video in a way where everything in the video gets donated, and then he just puts it to Beast Philanthropy. He's like three birds, one stoning it. Ba -bum. And laundry system. Rub a dub dub. Hey, how's it going? What's up, Jimmy? All right, as of now, give me an honest answer. How far do you think you're gonna go? Oh, I mean, I feel like 100 days for sure. Oh boy. Depending on how long Alex lasts, this may just become my most expensive video ever. But 100 days, I think, is the minimum you should go. You should get a million dollars from this. Because you, you I, I don't know. I guess I don't know how much money of stuff is in a grocery store. It's definitely a million, right? I, I'm prepared for that. Money, money, money all Holy the time. crap, dude. I don't care if you go a year. I got the money. Who put on? <laughs> Damn. Okay. Okay, he got cocky, huh? I mean, he's, he's not lying. But fuck. You know, when he says it like that, it hits different. All this in here is what I want the bank. You will get this once I get my $10,000 an item. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just realized. Is our Giga Chad emote Santa Claus? Is that what I'm seeing here? Is a Santa Claus Giga Chad? Oh, oh it's a shirtless Santa Claus. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right, today I have more TVs. Who goes to a grocery store to buy a TV? Why are these here? <laughs> now, Alex, be honest with me. Did you empty out any of these TV boxes, fill them with rocks, and keep the TV? Uh, dogs. All right, I trust them, even though that was not what I was asking. <laughs> what? What? Approaching day 11, Alex began to get pretty efficient at picking which items to sell. 
$10,001.89. And since I had to leave to go film a video where I stranded myself on an island, this is not comfortable, but let's pray we get like 30 minutes of sleep tonight. We had someone else drop off the money for Alex. We call him the money man. Oh, it's the money man. Thank you, sir. $100,000. Could... I'd be annoyed if I got $100,000 in ones. It would just piss me off. Like, 100K is 100K, end of the day. But, God, would that be fucking annoying to go through. I think it is prop money, and then he gives him, like, a 100K check at the end. But the logistics... You know, some play... I don't know. This should be a crime. But I've walked into two different coffee shops and offered to pay cash, and they said no. <laughs> How is that allowed? Why can why can they say no? They said ah no cash. I'm like, what do you mean? I It's cash. That's illegal. Boomer request. It happened. This really happened. Is it an LA thing? Has this happened to you? But I, I walked in, I wanted to pay with cash, and they said, no, we don't accept cash, sorry. And I was like, all right, and then I paid with Apple Pay, which is fine, but like, I feel like it's weird. He could definitely reach a million. And what he did with the rest of his time to keep himself entertained was interesting. I am building a cheese ball wall. <laughs> it's done, the gray wall of cheese balls. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. He's having a good time. It was so worth it. Oh, they got the lights off finally. On day 13, Alex decided to upgrade his shower because it's a piece of crap. What I'm going to do is use four of these shelves to reinforce the shower. Okay, here we go. That's how babies die. I'm gonna use plastic liner. That fucked me up when I found out that so many babies just get taken out by IKEA furniture. <laughs> I, I I shouldn't laugh. It's horrible, but it's just crazy. It's like, what a way to go. Drape it across here. The walls are waterproof now. All right, you gotta give it to him. This man is literally constructing a function. You guys don't know about this. This is a parent problem, so you, I guess you don't need to know till you're a parent. But if you don't like tie down your furniture or like nail it to the wall it can be pulled really easily by like a baby or toddler or something and then they just get crushed and die and it happens like a good amount like more than you would think it's not like it's not like oh one one baby died this year it's like several shower out of just raw store parts damn there it is shower's done time to test it Showers look looking good. Okay, it's been a few days in here. I'm gonna build a wall. Now, I never thought I'd see this, but Alex literally used all the water bottles in the entire store to build walls for his makeshift shelter. He even created like a bed using all of the toilet paper, and it looked kind of comfortable. This is pretty cozy. I'd fall asleep right here. That's a good idea. So now he's thinking. I don't know why he waited two weeks to do it. If I'm in here by myself, if... I would either pick up a piano if they have one. I guess they have TVs. They might have a piano. Probably not, though. Or, like, paper and pencil, and I'd learn to draw. You have so much time in a day, you just have to, like... Or just get really good at push-ups. I gotta get the scan in. Kind of A PS5 would be a waste of your time. Maybe that's controversial. My eyes on these bad boys for a while. Gift cards. These things are freaking expensive. It is actually surprising how expensive birthday cards are because Alex was able to hit his $10,000 mark only using the cards. And after I got back from filming at the island, oh, hey, 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 it's been a while. Alex went to see if we could help him use the forklift in the back of the store. You know, the whole point is to waste time. I don't think that is the point. I mean, I think the point is to last as long as possible and you're going to exit with a lot of money. So I guess from that logic, you could be like, oh, yeah, 
let's just pass the days as fast as possible to get as much money as possible. But there's also an opportunity. How often in your life do you have a hundred days with nothing to do? The answer is almost never. I don't, there's like, except for when you're a baby. When do you just get a hundred days? A hundred. Usually you'll have school, you know, like the last time I feel like I had a hundred days to do whatever the fuck I want is usually summer vacation in high school. But that's not even a hundred days. It's like 60 something, 60, maybe 70. And what I did with that in high school, I remember vividly as I watched 500 episodes of One Piece. <laughs> But if I could have gone back with my wisdom I have now, not much more, but a little bit more. There's 104 days of summer. There's 104 days. Of, oh, yeah, wait. Yeah, you're right. I don't think in reality there are 104, though, right? I got off June 21st through 25th, depending on how many snow days we had. And then we went back August, June to July, July to August. We went back August, fucking what, 25th or 6th? I think. Anyway, I would take the... It's such a huge opportunity to just fucking grind some shit out. Because I've always had a dream. Maybe this is weird to me. But you know what I always loved from Dragon Ball? Was the hyperbolic time chamber. And I always thought, man, I wish I could hyperbolic time chamber piano. And like the reality is I probably could squeeze in 15 minutes of piano a day in my real life now and get good at it. But the idea of hyperbolic time chambering it... And then just fucking, you know, no time passing in my real world, but just being able to just master piano seems so sick to me. Like, I would love to do that. And this is basically the only hyperbolic time chamber I have seen in the real world is you are paid to live in a grocery store. So might as well, while you're there, fucking. Oh, if you could get it in the store, that'd be super helpful. You're sure you're going to let Chris drive this? Yeah. Yeah. Still got it. Yeah. Still got it, Chris. Yeah. 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 Enjoy your forklift. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Even though it's only been a day since he last saw me, it seemed like Alex really started to miss me. At least that's the only explanation I have for what he's about to do. <laughs> Someone said woman driver. I thought that was funny. It was sexist, but in a way, it was also progressive. I saw this cut out of Jimmy over here. We're going to be hanging out a lot, you and I. He's just going to watch, make sure I don't lose count. Just scanning away for another 10K. $10,000.33. Over the next few days, Alex's efficiency was through the roof thanks to his new forklift. So he even had enough time to upgrade his bed. And it was quite the improvement. This so That's a good ass bed! Much better. And even though Alex's original goal was to get a million dollars, I think we're going for a mil on this one. I hope not. He started documenting what he'd spend the money on and came to realize maybe he didn't need to stay as long as he thought. A million dollars is nice in theory. I'm still missing out time with my boys. Both their birthdays are coming up in Aww. the next two months. I've never missed a birthday yet. So after Aww. thinking about what I want to put the money toward, I realized that I need to at least make $500,000. But right now, I only have 200. So Wait, that's so smart, okay? God, I fucking like this guy. What a smart human, you know? Because I feel like people get so lost in the accruement of money, they don't think about what the money is for. And there's no point in just getting money to get money, because you're going to fucking die. So, like, what's the end game? There is none. He's already thinking of the end, guy, end, end game. This Alex guy's cute. So in total, I got 50 days. I got to be in here almost halfway there. On day 22, Alex decided... Wait, I want to see... I'm sorry. I want to see the t totals. $1,000. About what I want to put the money toward. I realize okay, 60K to cover debt. That makes sense. 50K for a new car. A little high, but sure. Uh, 130K for a down payment on a house. <laughs> How? Uh, 60K for college. I'm assuming this is a college fund for the kids. Which would be enough, I think. You know, or at least it's a good start. 30K each kid. I'm assuming that's what that is. 100K for business. I like that. 25K on vacation. That makes sense. I think some people would call that dumb. 
But I think it makes sense if you've ditched your family for two months to come back with a fucking dope ass vacation for your family. You owe them that. 75K savings. I feel like I'm down for all this. Yeah, I do feel like there is a glaring hole for taxes, though. I will say that. I don't think Mr. Beast covers taxes. It'd be weird if he did. It'd be nice if he did, but it'd be weird. It'd be unnecessary. So I do think we are missing 150K. <laughs> that I need to at least make five hundred thousand dollars he said he does when he gives a car but that's different because when you're given a car you don't have the money to pay the taxes on the gift of a car but he's winning cash so he has the money to pay the taxes with it'd be weird to give more money for the taxes now I know he does it with cars but that's different that's because if you are gifted a $500,000 car, you have to pay taxes on the car. You might not have the money for that. You might not be able to keep the car. For cash, that'd be... It would surprise me. It would surprise right me. Right now, I only have 200. So in total, I got 50 days I got to be in here. Almost halfway there. On day 22, Alex decided to absolutely decimate all the goldfish in the grocery store. Oh my god! Okay, so this is $10,000 worth of goldfish. I could feed an army of toddlers. All right, thank you, sir. You're living a regular life now, almost. You're getting paid 10 grand a day to miss your family. Yeah. yeah. And you can just do this however long you want. Yeah. And you can just do this however long you want. <laughs> oh, Carl. As you can see, the days started blending together for Alex. But eventually, the day came where he decided to sell the water that he originally used for his shelter. But since he couldn't sell the empty shelves in the store, he realized they make pretty good walls. I'm gonna reinforce the house with metal shelves. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he has a forklift license. This is the way. <laughs> As you can see, Alex is feeling pretty at home now. But what he doesn't know is when I bought this grocery store, I stopped paying the electricity bill. So at any point now, all the power is going to cut off and his freezers won't work, the lights won't work, and so much more. The challenge is going to get way harder. But to this is psychological torture. This might be controversial. No, it isn't. <laughs> You know, I, 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 th I think I see where you're getting at. This isn't close. He's getting paid. If he feels sad, he can just walk outside. And I also think he has too much access to the outside world for it to be torture. To give him some motivation before things get pretty crazy. We thought Alex deserved a reward. Are you excited to see your dad? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, there we go. I mean, this is fucking timing and a half. <laughs> what, torturing him. Torturing him by seeing his two kids only to rip it away. Fucking torture. You ready to do this? Yeah. I think he might literally cry. This is gonna be crazy. Oh my god. Okay, okay Alex, we have a surprise for you. Hello. We brought oh, some special baby. guests. Hi, buddy. Yesterday, you were telling me about how much you miss your family, and I felt kind of bad. So, to celebrate 30 days, we're gonna let you spend the day with them. What are you doing? Uh, I need to go pee. <laughs> What's happening with all the boxes on the floor? I made a race car track. Oh, is that the car? <laughs> yeah. Wait, can he ride that? <laughs> what do you think, dude? Ooh, there they are. Damn, this guy was bored as shit. Holy fuck. I need to see that again. Hold up. Look at that. That's crazy. It looks great. Today I got to see Sarah and the boys. It was freaking amazing. And Sarah was as beautiful as ever. I love you. Love you. Bye, buddy. I love you. Heart break. When I saw my kids, I mean, they like looked different to me. You know, at that age, they grow weekly. I just look forward to going back home, spending time with my family. 
I said. Was it that- is true. A month? Kid that age? It's a long time. I mean, those kids must be like three, right? That's like percentage points of their life. <laughs> Multiple. He does kind of look like E-Rob a little bit. Yeah, he's got E-Rob. I think it's just the beard and the stash. What's up? I better get up and start and scanning stuff hand. now. We're gonna... What the heck? Why are the lights off? What are these shenanigans? Where's my flashlight? Is this some kind of joke? Houston, we have a problem. Did you do this, sir? <laughs> knock, knock. Oh, wow. Oh, that's... This is instantly way harder. Okay, now it's psychological torture. I'm back on your side. I'm sorry for ever talking shit. Because it is daytime outside. If you have to live in pure darkness, he better double his melatonin dosage. Oh, or his <laughs> vitamin D dosage. This is so much creepier. My power's out, Jimmy. Yes. So when I bought this grocery store, they gave me a form to put like the utilities in my name, and I just never filled it out. <laughs> The cameras. <laughs> he did not find that funny. <laughs> he did not find that funny at all, even a little bit. Cash registers are hooked up to a generator because we need those. So what am I looking at over here? Okay, so I had originally sixty thousand dollars ready to go. Oh my gosh! But I assume now that the power went out, you're gonna sell the frozen stuff. Yeah, things have changed. We need to get the skin. Let's get rid of these hot meats. Assembly line. All right, I'll hold the cart. Assembly line. I'm the door holder. And while they're clearing out the freezers, I want to tell you guys about Shopify. Shopify helped pay for this grocery store and in exchange wanted me to promote one of the millions of businesses they support in power. If only we had a bag. My controversial take is I think that song's actually fucking heat. I think Kevin McLeod went crazy. Is that the sneaky monkey one? Sneaky. Is it sneaky snitch? No shit. What's it called? Monkey? Spinning monkeys? No, fuck. What's it called? Oh, that's just always sunny in Philadelphia? That we could They're clearing out the freezers. I want to tell you guys about Shopify. Shopify helped pay for this grocery. It is. Wait, how'd he get always sunny in Philadelphia in here? Wait, this motherfucker? That was my idea. I reached out to the copyright owners of this song. It's not stock music. It's not royalty free. I'm promising you it's not. Because when me and Schlatt originally made our Ludge Schlatt thing, we tried to get the rights to that song. It's not... you. Look, just because it might be licensed a lot of places doesn't mean it's copyright free. It's in every TikTok. There's movies in TikTok. What argument is that? TikTok has literally no oversight on copyright holders whatsoever. Everything is thieved and robbed on that website. <laughs> You have to pay. You have to pay a licensing fee. Look it up. All right, fine. Always Sunny Song. Wait, is that what? Is this it? Is this it? It sounds different though, no? Alright, let's do a little research. Is this it? Off Broadway by Werner Tots. Werner Tots. Dubbin, do you ever watch Liam? Slime, I watch Liam a good amount. I got a good amount of Liam viewage. You on that Liam train finally? He's the only late night Mario runner that I watch. But I'll be real, I only watch when he's on a run. I'm trying to check my Liam. Um... 
hold up. I'm getting distracted. I want to say it's copywritten because Werner Tots died in 2014 and usually copywritten soundtracks last for 70 years after the death of the artist. Anyway, let's get back to it. Store and in exchange wanted me to promote one of the millions of businesses they support in power. If only we had a bag that we could put these things in to keep it cold. And together we picked Kanga coolers. Chandler, what if I told you there's a 12-pack of soda inside of it? Whoa. And it can keep what's inside cold up to seven hours. That's, That's a long forever. time. You got multi wieners, you got single wieners, cheesy, cheesy wieners. Kanga coolers are lightweight and insulated, so you can take them. Dude, I forgot this was an ad. Wherever. Hey, meet us at the front. Chandler, have you ever been a cashier Go. before? Go. Wait, you double scan that. Hold up. You can have the Kanga cooler. You can fit a human head in here. Anyways, click the link in the description down on the shop app right now. You can buy a Kanga cooler. Chandler might have the greatest life on earth. I feel like he shows up to every one in three Mr. Beast videos. He says fucking two lines. And then he just goes and plays basketball and video games. Kanga cooler. You can fit a human head in here. Anyways, click the link in the description down on the shop app right now. You can buy a Kanga cooler. And I'm going to go help them scan some meat. All right. Here's our meat receipt. <laughs> here's your 10 grand. Also. <laughs> Why are they keeping the forced laugh from Nolan? All right. Here's our meat receipt. <laughs> here's your 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> also, here's a Kango cooler. Oh, nice. Oh, by the way, Alex, I'm going to Africa for a week. At this point, I once again had to leave to go film a video in Africa where I built a hundred wells. What well, number one is this attack? Alex spent the rest of his day rushing to get all the frozen food sold so it could be donated. Because I'll just be scanning stuff in the dark from now on. I really hope Jimmy turns the power on. It's gonna suck. I'm not gonna lie, being left without power affected Alex way more than I thought it would. I guess the food wasn't the only thing getting checked out <laughs> time and place jimmy you, you, we're talking about the psychological torture of not having light you don't drop a pun there <gasps> what if you can tip over a forklift oh. careful on aisle seven There we go, baby. This door is turning into a wasteland. So I'm going to the back. I'm going to open up this dock door and let some daylight hit my Smart. face. Breathe in some fresh air because this is not going to do it. Oh, it's so nice. This right here will get me through the dark days. That's smart. This guy's smart. This guy's clever. You need sunlight. You need it. It is day 36. I got $360,000. Why stop now? Got to keep loading these carts up. Got a lot of food to get through. Just carts and pools of money and waiting, waiting for the days to go by. The most exciting part of my day is being this close to the red line. I'm just a sad old miserable boy back here. Nothing's ever been sadder in my life Except living in a grocery store Coffee, food, and a lot of money I'm like way ahead on checkout still I don't want to do anything There's nothing to do All that stands between me, my wife, my kids Is this line right here Lights being off, being the Songs low-key trash uh, how much inventory do you think in the store? This store seemed fucking full. It's close to the red line, realizing I can... I don't know what a grocery store has in terms of, like, money of products. I would assume, like, three to five million dollars. Two to five million dollars, I guess. See my family. It's super tempting every day now. <laughs> Whoa! A bunch of pallets back there still that I haven't even dug into. Some glasses, ice packs... What the? <laughs> Look what I just found. Insta Start Quick Pack Lantern. Nice. I got five of them. I just lit them all up. They're on full blast right now. It definitely lights up. The Damn, that space fucking really works. Well. I feel like I can actually like hang out in here again. Oh, Alex, are you here? Yo. 
Another 10K? Yeah. Chandler! It's crazy I have all this money, but there's nothing I can do with this money while I'm in here, except just look at it. Well, you can't look at it because it's so dark in here. <laughs> so I'm going to bring some lights in. Are you serious? For filming purposes. All right. What are you going to do for the rest of the time you're in here? Something I definitely want to do is go ahead and just run through all these shells with Chandler the homie. Oh. <laughs> You asked for this. What is going on? All right. Time for me to not be here anymore. We'll see you tomorrow. Here's your broom. Thanks, guys. Enjoy cleaning. After spending an entire day cleaning up Chris's mess, Alice took advantage of the newly opened space to set up a pool he found in the back. Off we go. Oh, the lights are fully back. Do they pay for it? I'm gonna drag the hose out here, stick it in this pool, and sometime tomorrow, we'll have a grocery swimming pool. It's been over a week, and Chandler <laughs> won't tell me what happened while I was gone. This place looks completely different. Oh, God, open the door. This, this dude should, he should go at least 100. I mean, though, I guess he, he had his list. His list was good. But to do his list, he'd need, like, 700K after taxes? Or, to, to, or before taxes, I should say. I gotta see this. Whoa! Where did everything go? We uh, did a little remodeling while you were gone. This looks like someone gave Chris a forklift. Everything makes sense now. Can you show me the pool? Yeah, you wanna get in? Yeah! Do you wear socks? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. No free feet! <laughs> if that guy had been stoic, he'd make much more money. This is the definition of a weak mind. If that guy had been stoic, I don't think stoic is about the hustle grustle of getting money, baby. But we also don't know how much he got yet. But yeah, I imagine the stoics of yore would probably tell you that, hey man, it's not about money. Oh, oh it's freezing! Get it off! Ah! What do you typically do in the pool? I just kind of float around. This was fun and all, but I think we should check out. Thanks for the groceries. <laughs> Enjoy your pool. All right. Marcus Aurelius would have stayed for three years. He was the emperor. I think he had it good. <laughs> I don't think he needed the 10K. I'm just going to grab everything from the back and just put it up here, organize it, and who knows, maybe there's something fun in there. It's no secret at this point, Alex was pretty tired. And while he was making his rounds in the forklift, something unexpected happened. Oh! He poked a hole and drowned the entire fucking place. Oh! I was trying to turn one way and it just went the opposite direction. Oh my God. My freaking money is soaked. There's a bunch of product ruined. It's like so deep right here. It's in my space. It's all over the grocery store. Dude, I'm done, man. I just want to leave. We're going in. <laughs> wow. He fucked up hard. I told you he wasn't Fargo certified. If he had been more stoic, he wouldn't have hit that. <laughs> Man, he fucked up hard. That's a huge fuck up. Water's a problem. I think about it a lot. Like a cup of water like this, if you spill it on your floor, that shit, it, it goes flat so fast. It fills up such a large area. Water terrifies me. Do you think that's scripted? No, 100% not. Having done many Mr. Beast videos, I can tell you for sure that him popping that shit open was not scripted. The bit where they destroyed all the shelves of the forklift was probably like agreed upon and scripted in the sense that he knew that they were going to destroy it and he was going to clean it up. Alex, buddy. Why is it so wet in here? Yeah, ill. Yo. Oh, Alex. Your golden chariot awaits you. <laughs> oh, look at you in bed. You good, dog? I'm all right, man. You look like a defeated man. Yeah, I busted the pool. I just wanted to bust a pool. So I was driving by to drop off some pallets, and I tried to turn, and it just turned the complete opposite way. I Let's see if that's right. Some pallets. Hold up. Let's take it frame by frame. Okay, I don't mean to get controversial, 
but he's one hand steering. I see him at three o'clock with his left hand and then move his hand up left, like clearly to 11 o'clock. And then I think he tries to last second turn it right way too late. And you can see it does turn right. But it's 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 way too late at that point. You can even see the tires in the back. By the time he realizes he needs to turn, it's right here. And it just turned the complete opposite way. I was like, no! So all this got wet. How many more weeks? Do you I just find it funny that he keeps he keeps saying it turned the opposite way. Have left weeks. <laughs> I'm just kind of taking it day by day right now. It depends how much longer I can go. So if you just see like a spider in your bed tomorrow, you're, you're leaving. Oh, 100. <laughs> percent I don't think he has many days left. This is ending soon. You guys want to come hang out for a little bit? Heck no. You're depressing. This is what this. <laughs> 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 so fucked. That's so fucked. You're depressing. Holy shit. Store looked like when Alex started the challenge, and this is what it looks like now. So uh, day forty four. Almost dark outside. I can't tell if they clean the water for him or if it's still there. Jimmy hasn't come by today. I have stuff I need to sell. I'm just gonna move this stuff to the back. Hopefully somebody brings me the ten thousand dollars today. Maybe they just forgot or something. It's really lonely in here. I'm just gonna. I, guess I feel like they drained it out, right? Oh, me. maybe there is a drain in there. Need some money. Oh, they're true. Dude, they're evil. They're evil. They get a fucking drone chariot? What? Are you serious? Are you there, Jimmy? This is the first interaction I get all day, and it's the freaking robot. Thanks for the money. <laughs> I, I maybe this is actually recorded the saddest someone's been to receive ten thousand dollars. I think in the history of the world. Not even Jimmy wants to come here for a minute. That's how depressing this place is now. Can't say I blame him honestly. This sucks, man. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> it's like something Patrick Starr would do. God, I'm freaking miss my family so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I do think he is sad and a bit broken, but this is like like how a cartoon character would express sadness. <laughs> it's so it's it's so melodramatic that it has to be performative. Like there's no there's no authenticity in getting into the the fucking wheelchair at Walmart and then going into a pole again and again. God, I freaking <laughs> miss my family so bad. It's day 45. I've done that type of shit, but like you do it like four times and you leave. Like, <laughs> Ivan Chandler, how would you say he's doing? That is complete boredom. You're just tapping the bat on the ground. I would feel bad for him, except he's won $450,000. Like, this, this is how I used to act as a 10 year old at the table when I didn't want to finish my meal with my fork. Just fucking dunk, dunk, 
like performatively acting like I wanted to get out of there. And he can leave whenever he wants. So he'll be fine. <laughs> Alex. Hey, we were watching on the cameras. You looked very sad. Yeah, I'm pretty bored. Well, here's $10,000. So you less bored? Helps a little. How many weeks left you got? I don't even know if I got an hour left, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, really? Here, let's go look at your sea of money over here. This is all the money you've made so far. 450 grand. Are you saying you're content with it? <sighs> Give me one second. I've got a surprise that might help you decide. What? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe. What the heck? Don't cry. I can't help it. <laughs> Okay. Why wear your shoes? <laughs> your shirt. To be clear, I didn't take his shoes. I don't know why he's not wearing shoes. These are all the things that this money's gonna go toward. Isn't this crazy? I can't even wrap my head around it. I feel like I could do another five days. Do you think it's worth it? What's the verdict? We've weighed the options. Make tons of money. Keep tons of money you already made. Honestly, it's not worth staying in. Like, yeah. longer. <laughs> okay, well then let's push the money out. Okay, I was right. It's kids' college fund, which I think 60K is a reasonable for, like, a three-year-old and a two-year-old. 30K each. You know, that's a pretty good chunk. All right, Alex, the second you step on the red, it's over. I can move all the money back, and we can keep going. It's your decision. All right, bring it back in. Okay, bring it back in. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Spent 45 days in the store and walked away with $450,000. Can't believe this happened. This is freaking sick. Congratulations, <laughs> Alex. Shout out to Albertsons for helping us fill the shelves. You guys were amazing. I'm going to go find a shirt. Also, I hope Albertsons is owned by Safeway because it's funny to shout him out with the giant Safeway truck in the back.